Secretary of State John Kerry making it clear that the military option is not off the table, even as the U.S. and Russia sit down in Geneva to talk about how Syria will turn over the chemical weapons it now admits it has. And Kerry rejected the suggestion from Syria's Bashar Assad that he will submit data on his chemical weapons program a month after he signs an international ban on the weapons. Kerry says Assad's words are not enough. Well, listen to this. There are deadly chemical weapons being housed right here in Kentucky. Wave 3 troubleshooter Eric Flack found out they are being kept at a U.S. military facility about 100 miles from Louisville. He traveled to that Army Depot earlier today. And Eric, are we talking about some kind of nerve agent similar to what was used in Syria? Yes, yeah, Scott, the exact same ones allegedly used by the Syrian president to kill 1,400 of his own people. Some of those graphic images you're about to see. Chemical weapons have been stored at the Bluegrass Army Depot since the 40s, and the military is working to get rid of them. But the project has been bogged down in delays, leaving some Kentucky families living under a cloud of uncertainty. Tucked away on this 15,000 acre heavily guarded Army Depot in Madison County, 523 tons of weaponized chemicals are waiting to be destroyed by the U.S. military. Toxic nerve agents that attack the body, in some cases suffocating and killing the victim in minutes. Do these chemical weapons pose a risk to the community? Of course. Craig Williams is co-chairman of the governor's Chemical Destruction Citizen Advisory Board. He's teamed with Senator Mitch McConnell to press the U.S. military to eliminate its chemical stockpile in Kentucky, something Williams says should have been done long ago. Originally, the Army said that they would get it done nationally by 1994 for a cost of $1.8 billion. It's now 2013, they've spent about $35 billion. So they're a little behind schedule and a little bit over budget. Since the 90s, the U.S. government has worked to destroy chemical weapons stockpiles at seven of its military sites. But arsenals in Kentucky and Colorado remain. And the Bluegrass Army Depot here in Richmond is the only location in the country to still house sarin and VX, the most lethal of toxic agents. It was sarin that was allegedly used by Syrian President Bashar Assad in a chemical attack on civilians August 21st, an incident that led President Obama to threaten airstrikes if Assad doesn't hand over his chemical stockpile. Destroying those weapons could take years, both in Syria and here in Kentucky. The plant being built at the Bluegrass Army Depot to neutralize the chemical agents is only 70% complete. And right now, estimates are the chemical weapons housed here won't be totally eliminated until 2023. So how big a threat is all this in the meantime? Williams says it's low. It would take something catastrophic, like an earthquake or multiple lightning strikes, to cause a release. Under the worst case meteorological conditions, with the worst type of agents, the zone of fatality could reach 35 miles. 35 miles? Correct. How many people is that? Several hundred thousand, if, because you start capturing parts of Lexington if the wind is blowing the right way. The probability of that is about the same as me waking up tomorrow morning with a full head of hair. Still, Williams says FEMA has spent millions of dollars on emergency response plans, including warning sirens and alert radios in every home in the event the chemicals ever get airborne. We asked the Army for a tour of the chemical weapons facility, but that request has been put off until next week. The military guys has yet to respond to a list of questions I sent them yesterday about the delays in cleaning up all these weapons and also basically whether or not it's going to be done sooner rather than later. Why could it have taken so long, Eric? Well, I mean, one of the reasons Williams identified is that all these weapons here in the Bluegrass are weaponized, meaning it's not just 500 tons of, of chemical weapons, it's 500 tons of chemical weapons on about a thousand rockets that makes it more complicated to dismantle yeah. it also makes it more expensive and just takes longer all right eric thanks